Hey, 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 it's Shell Anderson. Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break with Shell. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do Lunch Break with Shell videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 noon Central Standard Time. Today we are going to have a play with um, actually a bunch of stamp sets. I have chosen Sailing Home, Ocean Front, Waves of Inspiration, and Grassy Grove. I am going to try my hand at scene building with these different die, uh, stamps and dies. Actually, we're not using any dies today. Um, for my card base, I've chosen Crumb Cake. And for my matte layer, I have chosen Early Espresso. My ink colors today are Balmy Blue, Smoky Slate, Soft Succulent, Garden Green, Evening Evergreen, Soft Suede, and Early Espresso. All right, so first off the hop, the first thing I wanna do is stamp my greeting because if I get this card all done and I mess up on the greeting, I'm not gonna be a happy camper. So you'll notice on my stamp apparatus that I've already loaded my stamp and you'll see this piece of plastic. This is actually a piece that I cut out of a cutting mat that you buy at the dollar store. And what I've done is I've lined it up and I've stamped the stamp down to make sure that I have it in the position that I want. So I'm not wrecking my cardstock. So that's just a little tip for you. Now I'm going to ink that up and stamp down my greeting. And this greeting, oh, it's beautiful, turned out perfect. This greeting comes from the um, Grassy Grove stamp set. And it says, sometimes you just need to know that someone really cares. Now, how nice is that? All right, so that's all I was going to use my Stamparatus for. Sorry, bear with me a second. We're having technical difficulties right off the hop. All right, we're gonna close up this ink pad and we are going to use a multitude of stamps and ink colors. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I have two more cards to show you that I did earlier. All right, I am going to start with some soft succulent and this grassy knoll is what I'm gonna call it. Um, and this comes from the grassy grove. No, it doesn't. This one comes from the oceanfront stamp set. And I'm going to turn this upside down. Actually, I need to get a stamp mat in here. I'm going to turn this grassy knoll upside down and just kind of go around my words a bit. And then I'm going to do it one more time. But I'm, oops, I got ink all over my block. Let's take care of that before I make a mess. And then I'm going to turn it around and do it again, right side up. All right, I'm happy with that. And now we are going to take this big one and soft succulent again. I haven't done it with soft succulent, so you'll see from my other card that it's going to be much different. I'm just gonna overlap this a bit. And you'll notice that I'm stamping on a stamp mat. Um, that's because these are photopolymer stamps and there's no cushion on them. 
Now I'm going to switch to balmy blue. And I am going to clean off that stamp and ink it with balmy blue. And because this one's here, I'm going to flip it. And this one's going to go right up and off the top of the page. All right, there we go. So far, so good. Now, I have my deer stamp and I'm going to do it in soft suede this time. On my other card I did it in early espresso and I thought it was too dark. So I'm going to try this one in soft suede. And it really doesn't matter where you put this on your card because we're going to build the scene around it. All right, now I have Evening Evergreen and I'm looking for my trees. I haven't used Evening Evergreen before either. I'm actually going to stamp this on the back to see how dark it is. I think that's going to be okay. And right up here I'm going to stamp three trees. Beautiful. Now doesn't, you notice before I stamped those trees, it didn't look like anything. And that line was really definitive. Now just by stamping trees over there, it looks like that's a field, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool. I didn't know any of this until I just started playing with it, to be honest. Now I have this little sprigs of grass and I'm going to do this in Evening Evergreen. And I'm just going to pop these here, there and everywhere. Like so. And then I have some birds. I have a single bird and I have three that go together from the sailing home. The single one is from, which one? Waves of Inspiration. And I think this time I'm going to use the single one because I really don't want to make it those bird, clump of birds to be too big for this scene. And this way I can, oh, you see what I just did? I got a halo after all that. Now, am I gonna be able to fix that halo? Sorry if my head's in the way. Well, it's not perfect, but that's okay. Let's close this ink pad before I get ink all over it. And now this is the most amazing part to me. Watch what happens when we mat this together. This piece just all falls into place and just seems to pop. that out. Now watch what happens here. When we pop that on there, it's just bam. But I have an idea. I want to try something. So if you bear with me a minute, I am going to grab an embossing folder and I'm going to grab the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. And I'm just going to bring in this big machine. 
and I need a plate or two. Okay, so I am going to put this into this folder and I'm going to emboss it just to give it a little something something. Now I did not do this on my other cards so we'll have we'll be able to compare and contrast the different cards and see which we like better and it just gives it I don't know whether the camera's picking that up or not but it just gives it a little something something and while I'm in the business I am going to do the same thing with the front of the cart. Just to give it a little something something. Sorry if I'm wiggling the camera. All right, let's get this big boy out of the way. We will have a look at our card base. Look at all that gorgeous texture. Now I'm gonna rescore that and look at what a difference that makes. Now this one, I think we are going to pop this up on some dimensionals which I have to find. I cleaned my craft room. And you know what happens when you clean your craft room, right? <laughs> or with me, I can never find anything. So I am just gonna grab five dimensionals and give this card just a wee bit of lift. There we go. Get those paper backs off. And then we'll pop this right in the center, like so. How cool is that? Now, of course, I'm going to have to line the inside of that card. I'm going to bring in the card that I did previously. This one here was done in Old Olive Garden Green and Bond Blue with the Early Espresso, but I just did a fine little border on this one and no embossing. I'm going to bring those up closer to the camera so that you can actually see the different texture. And I also did one more card. This was the first one I did. And I did this one. And I, when I stamped these trees, I took my water brush and I was trying to soften them up a little bit. And I, to be honest, I really don't like what I did here. It, and, and I tried to do the, the sails on the boat in, with my white chalk marker. But because I stamped it over top of ink that was already there, it didn't work. So my sails are a little messed up. But that's okay. You know, I learned from this. I went on, decided that instead of making it water, I was going to make it a field. And then my trees here, I didn't like those too much. But we're, we're working our way through it. And I mean, let's face it, that's how we learn. And it's obvious that this greeting was really key for me. I really, really like that. So I hope you enjoyed our little video today. And I'm here Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon. I hope you can come back again soon. That's it for now. Bye-bye.